sitting here with two of Hollywood's finest, not just in looks, which we have <laughs> right here, but as in talent. Oh my God, the amazing Bill Duke. How Thank you doing you. today? God bless you, my dear. Good to see you. Good. And well, you know who you are, Greg Allen Williams. I, I, I am Greg Allen Williams. Are you? And have been most of my life, except that one time. Well, never mind. One time in band camp. So y'all are here today to talk about your new movie, right? So tell me about the movie. She's in it too. Yes, I know. We're going to be talking to her in a minute. Great. Um, well, thank you for having us. Uh, it's called Created Equal, and it's about a nun in the Catholic Church who decides she wants to become a priest because mm -hmm. she wants to serve the church more fully and have more responsibilities and freedoms. That's what she goes through. So what attracted you to this movie? Uh, what attracted me to the movie is its content um, in terms of speaking of women's rights. Uh, it does not take sides, which is really great for me. It shows you both of the humanity of the church and of the lady who's trying to be a nun. And then we leave for you, the audience, to determine what your thoughts are. So I like the fact that it, it's balanced. Okay. Now, you play the judge in the movie, right? So what attracted you to the movie? Bill Duke. Oh, okay. Okay, that was the first thing. And the second thing was the script, was the script. Uh, I attended the Jesuit boarding school for a time, but I was raised coaching Church of God in Christ. And what I recognized from my experience with the Catholic Church and understanding that nuns are not allowed to become a priest, and the parallel would be in the Church of God in Christ in that traditionally men preach from the pulpit and women teach from the floor. They can be delivering the same message about the same God and the same salvation, but they're defined differently and those messages are, de messages are delivered from different places. So I recognize, you know, those parallels and, and wanted to be involved. Of course, Lou Diamond Phillips uh, and, and, and Eddie Gannam, you know, and Aaron. Um, it, it was a great cast and a great producer, uh, Theta Catalone. Uh, you know, it's one of those kinds of projects that's important and you want to be a part of. Yeah, after, after seeing the trailer for it, I was just like, oh, my God, and, I, and I'm Catholic. So I was just like, oh, how real is this? Yeah. So after doing this movie, do you think it might happen possibly in our lifetime? That's a good, good question. At the end of the movie, you'll see, I don't want to give it away, but the Pope makes a statement. And so um, I think you'll see. But my hope is that it at least gives women... Um, a better chance of advancing. The Pope, this Pope uh, Francis, who I like very much as a matter of fact, has already done a little bit to improve women's rights in the church. And so I, I'm, I'm very hopeful that in the relatively near future, there'll be an openness to the possibility. And that's what I'm hoping for. So what do you think? What I think is this. I think that this film is going to raise awareness about the aspirations of some women in the Catholic Church. You know, it, the Catholic Church is a community, and, and not everyone is part of that community. And, and so this film helps acquaint us with some folks in that community, some of the traditions in that community, and that there are folks inside that community who aspire to become priests. And that reminds us uh, of, of our own aspirations and what we have in common in terms of those aspirations. And perhaps we can find ways to support um, those aspirations. So I think this film is about awareness. This film is about aspiration and, and acquainting us with each other and our hopes and dreams. Wow. So, okay, you two are always so busy. What other projects you got going? Because you're still doing Greenleaf, right? Well, we're done, we're done with season two. Of course, the second half of season two uh, uh, hits the airways in August. So there are eight more episodes to air, but we've wrapped season two. So you ready for season three? Uh, yeah, I'm like, bring it on, you know, absolutely. You know, you're kind of dangerous and crazy on that one. Well, he is very dangerous. He is very dangerous, but there can be no good without evil. <laughs> you bring that evil in that one. Like, oh my goodness. Yes. Like, I don't... Yeah, he's a bad boy. There's no doubt. But, you know, I'm really excited. Um, uh, in, in August, when Greenleaf comes back, um, my audio book, Heart of a Woman, uh, will, uh, will be available in the usual places, you know, audible and on audio.com and that sort of thing. You know, and folks can go to Heart of a Woman dot heartofawomanbook.com and sort of sample that. And if you think Uncle Mac is dark, then you should check out Heart of a Woman audiobook. 
All right, you really got that dark side. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna move a little bit closer to you. <laughs> so what do you else you have going on, Mr. Duke? Um, I have a movie that I'm developing. We're almost funded. It's called One Day, and it deals with um, not Ferguson exactly, but it deals with a young man who's killed by a police officer, and they're both of their stories. And so we're working on that and developing it. Wow, y'all are always so busy. Oh, I'm so impressed. Thank you. I love it. I love seeing my people working. All right, so before we go, we're going to bring the young lady out, um, one of the stars of the movie, right? And she's absolutely adorable. So tell me your name. Cameron Jones. Hi, Miss Cameron Jones. So tell me about your part in the movie. Um, I'm Samantha, and I give Eddie a bracelet, which she keeps, and then I am also tell her a few lines, and I push away my brother because it's offensive about what he says. And then I just really like Eddie, and I'm her favorite kid. Okay. Did you enjoy being in the movie? Yes, very much. Was it your first time? No. No? What other things have we done? Um, I've done a lot of commercials, and then I've done The Man from Mars. Okay. And then I just booked another movie called Four Keeps. Okay. And I don't know when it's coming out, but that's it. Wow. She's wonderful. She's wonderful. She's wonderful. Wow. Well, I think we've got, we're looking at another um, Oscar winner right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, very smart. And how old are you? Ten. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. I, I have a request before we go. Yes. Can they see the boots? Oh, my shoes? Yes. You like my sneakers? They're deep. I've never seen that before. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, so you know, those, okay. yes. those, those are sneakers yeah well you know i have to advertise you know who i am you know it's all about branding so t-shirt sneakers Those you know are doing a good all job yes okay mm -hmm. converse? well they're converse inspired i'm put it like that <laughs> but they're um but they have the same concept and i got my details on it did you know that a hundred years ago that um bill and i used to wear tennis shoes like that a hundred years. A hundred years. A hundred years ago. You guys are about hundred years. Yeah, we also walked twenty miles, twenty miles to school in the snow. Don't believe him. Don't believe him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't believe him. He is pulling your leg. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> well, thank you all for spending a few minutes Thanks with me you. to tell me about this amazing. Now, when can we see the movie? I'm sorry, I forgot to ask that. Well, today it's playing at four o'clock, as you know here, mm -hmm. but we're still seeking distribution, and okay. so we're getting distributors to come to the film festivals, check us out, and. See what we can do. Okay, because this needs to be on the big screen. I so we so need to see this. Thank you all so much. All right, this is your girl Nix for the movie talk. <laughs>